Hi guys. Hi. My name is Vivian. So today I'm gonna do like my skincare collection and also my hair product collection. So first off, I'm gonna start with my lip balms and all that. So I have a bunch of lip balms. It's a lot. And so first up is the fresh is a lip balm sugar lip balm mint rush it's from fresh and it looks something like that it's just a normal lip balm you know like what i mean and the second one is another lip balm is the advanced therapy from fresh also and the third one is a tinted lip treatment from Fresh also. And it has a sunscreen of like SPF 15. Looks something like that. So pretty. It smells nice too. It's a, and it has a strawberry smell. And the fourth lip. Okay, it's not really a lip balm, but it's more of like a lip cream a rose hip seed lip cream from so wait how to spell it i mean how do you put how do you even pronounce it but anyway it's from this brand if you can see i can't it focus man focus okay never mind forget it and the fifth one is okay wait it's not a lip balm, but it's a skin hydrator. But anyway, uh, this one is the fifth lip balm that I have. It's from Clinique. And it's just... When you open it, right, it's something like that. Right, I'm currently using this, and it's my favorite. Okay, ew, why is there hair here? Okay. But anyway, it's, when you open it, right, it's something like that. And you just squeeze it out and just put it on your lips. And this is a moisture search lip hydro plum treatment. It's quite good, and it's my current favorite. And the last one is a lip stories balm from Sephora. This is the packaging, and once you open it, right, it looks something like that. It looks a bit like. A lipstick okay i've used it once already to try it's okay it looks like a lipstick but it's actually a lip balm and it's in the the are you jealous i mean you can't really focus well but this the And moving on to the next section is okay. okay. It's not really a skincare, but I have like two toothpaste in stock just in case you know mine runs out. Me yeah, but okay. the the first one is from Colgate, and the second one is a toothpaste, a C Bakaton, Kamadon and Wasaba Japonia flavor. It's from Aesop also. And moving on to the next one is my hair care products. It, I have like three hair products. Uh, three hair care products, I mean. And the first one is from OGX. It's a penetrating oil for all hair types. It's a argan oil of Morocco. It, it's quite good. I used it before quite a lot of times and I really liked it. And moving on to the second hair care product that I have, uh, it's actually a hair oil. It's a argan rich oil from Lucido. And it's just a spray. So like, once your hair is dry, and then you just spray it on your hand and like, put it on your hair. And the third hair care product that I have is a verb ghost oil. Uh, recently, I just bought it from Sephora. So it's, I haven't tried it yet, but it looks good. 
And the fourth section we are going to go is my skincare, like facial skincare. Currently, I'm using this Sikape or Sisape. It's from Dr. Jud. And it's a calming gel cream. And it's quite nice because it doesn't feel oily. And it's also um quite... It's got a little herby taste to it. I mean, a herby smell to it, not taste. Oh my god. And it's just like, when you open it, right? It looks something like that. So you have to squeeze it out. And it's like green in colour. And second one is Blue Tremolel Facial Hydrating Mascara from Aesop. And it's quite... Um, okay, I haven't opened it yet. I didn't open it, but it smells nice. Like, yeah. And the third one is the All Day Hydrator by Sephora. Uh, actually, this one is a... It's just a sample for me when I ordered online from Sephora. I haven't tried this yet, but it looks kind of good too. Okay, it smells like there's a milky scent to it, but it's not very... But the milk taste to it doesn't have a very strong smell to it. And the fourth facial thing I have is from Method Swiss and it's a youth, cover, youth recovery essence lotion. I use it quite a few times already and I like it because it's a uh, water base so when you open a cat right it looks something like that so you squeeze it on your hand and then you apply it to your face it's quite a nice one like the smell is nice but i prefer the but if you want me to compare these two right i prefer the smell of this because the smell is nicer okay so this one is the bio essence bio white advanced whitening Refiner for rosy fair skin. Okay, I tried this a few times also and it's quite nice. Like, I like it also quite nice. Why do I say quite nice? And it's also liquid base. So it's like when you open a cap, right, you just spray it on your hand and all that. And moving on, I have an immediate moisture facial hydrosol. And it's a spray, so it's like, you know, just spray it on your face if you don't want to use your hands to like, touch your face. And I haven't tried this yet, because um I'm currently using this Dr. Judd's one. So once this finish, maybe I'll try this. I'm not sure, but anyway, this one has like rose petals, bergamot peel, and chamola, chamola, but... And like the smell, like it's got a nice like fruity and um, a fruity and flowery smell to it. But there's like a very thin smell to it. And moving on, we have <coughs> two Avin Zira Clum. Lipid cream, um, lipid replenishing cream, and inside the box, right, is let me open it. Okay, it's quite small, and it's like palm size, it's only like 5 ml. Looks cute, travel friendly. Okay, it's too tough to handle, so let me just put it back. And the next thing I have is the Rose Water Cleansing Toner from ICM Pharma. It's quite good. Usually, um, what I do, right, like when I use this, right, is like after I pop my pimples, if I have any, and then I'll use this to like, dip, like, I'll just 
squirt a little bit of it onto a tissue paper and dab it. It looks something like that. So it's like you have, when you open a cap, right, you have to turn it up. And then you just squeeze it out and the liquid will be and the liquid will come out. Moving on, we have the Bio Essence. Bio Renew Royal Jelly. It's an exfoliating gel oil control. Because sometimes my skin will get oily. It doesn't look as good as this sometimes. And it has like tea tree inside also. Which is kind of like calming. Because like I don't really like to exfoliate. I mean, I like exfoliating but sometimes I'll panic because no, you can't breathe sometimes because it's too tough to breathe when you're doing something with your face and next up I have three items for I oh, sorry my arm is blocking next up I have like three items for like my eye wax okay I know my eye wax is bad but I have three eye stuff to make I mean I have three eye creams to tackle my eye problem I mean my eye back problem so the first one is bio essence it's called a bio v leaf it's made of black orchard okay not sure whether you can see or not but it's it's kind of like a drip okay it's kind of cool like it's easier to control for this because it's like you know like the eye area is small and all that so it's like this one is easier for you to like use it and it has like the eye okay it's an eye lifting essence leaves and firm saggy eye contours for youthful eye so you know I'm trying to maintain my skin and it ain't easy so this is like Kind of like a life-saving thing for me, my eyes. And the second one for my eye area, right, is a Sephora. It's in a jar. Okay, this is not very practical because, you know, like, I don't really like this packaging. is because, you know, once you open it, it's already a cream. And it's not very hygienic also. Because you know like germs will collect inside and all that kind of shit. Ew, it's not nice. But anyway, I got it. Because for this purple one, right, is a great seed energizing eye cream. It's a Sephora brand house brand. I think it's a Sephora house brand. And it's quite nice. The smell is nice. You know, I used it quite a few times. I loved it so much and the last one for my eye cream is a cucumber seed hydration eye cream it's also from Sephora and it's yeah uh, it's a it's just a hydration eye cream and it has like a cucumber smell to it yep and you can tell I'm already like using it like halfway through and it's quite good. Wait, I forgot the pricing for it, but I got these two last year. Um, I think around June or July, either one. But it's quite nice, you know, like to have like something that is like for your eye area. And moving on to the next one is my hand creams and body creams, you know, like you know. Okay, so my first, okay, just in case you don't know, right, I'm obsessed with like hand creams and body creams, in case y'all don't know. So, moving on, first hand cream I have is a Keith Edison hand cream. Um, I'm not sure, okay, it has orchard apple and sweet elderberries. Like, it's like orchard apple and sweet elderberries scented hand cream. 
and it's only like quite a small bottle it's like 50 ml only and the next one that i have um actually this one right is like i got it for my mom but for christmas last year but she doesn't want it because she has sensitive skin so she doesn't want to use it so she passed it to me and the next one is from the face shop glitter universe and it has like valina and irish uh valina and iris scented hand cream okay i got it for my birthday last year from one of my friends and it's actually super nice because okay i haven't opened it but the scent is there it has a very strong valina scent i mean not that strong but it's considered quite strong for me and i liked it also because it smells nice you know and the third hand cream i have is from aesop okay like it's just a small little bottle of it and it has like it's a resurrection aromatic hand balm which has like the mandarin rind rosemary rosemary leaf and a cedar altas um scent to it Ouch. okay like this one my mom she doesn't want it also so she passed it to me and the next hand cream i got here is a cute little cactus and it's so cute like i don't i can't bear to use it because it's so cute you know like what i mean small little cactus man it's a hand cream so when you open up right it looks something like that okay like i haven't opened it yet also but because you know i can't bear to use it it's too cute so i'm like letting it sit on my desk and moving on the next one i have for hand cream is this crabtree and evelyn um lavender and espresso calming hand cream i'm using it like you know based on the sound you can already tell that it's already like more than half of it is used because i use it every night and it's it smells quite nice to be very honest like it has a strong lavender smell and it's only like a hundred ml so and it's good for 24 months okay why am i saying that but anyway it's it's one of my favorite ones and the next one is also from the same brand but it's a different um it's a different one crabtree and evelyn also same brand but i have a, but this one is like citron and coriander and it's like a energizing hand cream. So it, it has like an orangey taste to it. I mean an orangey smell to it. Oh my god. Why am I seeing taste? Oh my god. But anyway, this one is like to recharge your senses with vitamin C and coriander. Which is kind of good. Like, like I like the smell of it but not particularly so much as compared to the lavender one or the rose scented one from Sephora. So this is also like the same size as the lavender one which is like 100 ml. It's quite, it's travel friendly but now you know, it's like, I try to put this inside my work bag because my work is like at the aircon area so you know my hands will get dry and all that so it's a good one because my bag is big too so i don't mind bringing it such a big one and the next one i have is the sephora rose hand balm and it's the dermatologically tested it's quite a small bottle it's only 30 ml but it's my favorite scent because the rose right 
the rose scented is damn nice like it's really very nice and like how do I say it like out of all the hand creams that I have right my top three is these three oops oh shit like the Valina like this is my top three favorite scents for hand cream because okay, I I don't I don't know what to say about it because it's very hard to explain like you know what I mean like personal preference different people have different preferences and moving on to my other hand cream this one is uh so daily or what do you call it but anyway this is also a 30 ml bottle of hand cream like actually it's not really a hand cream it's a hand and nail cream i got it from sephora also like you can already tell that i'm obsessed with sephora so this one has like um okay there's no i don't even know what kind of scent this like i don't know what scent this have but it's a nourishing and repairing hand and nail cream which is also quite cute and compact you know like even if put it in your bag is small enough to fit in and moving on i have the last hand cream from mario badiscu it's a lavender hand cream with vitamin e and it's like 85 grams for all skin types i got this from sephora also you can tell how obsessed i am with sephora so like actually this one i got it for like last year christmas like gift exchange but apparently i got i bought a bit too much so now i have like one left in my room because i have extras and moving on i have like victoria secret and ember romance it's a lotion it's like 236 ml so when you push it open right it's like that oh shit it's disgusting i gotta clean it up later but anyway it's quite a big one so you know like it's suitable to put it on your body like now the skin is smooth and all that kind of thing so it's worth it and the and the last one i have is a the body shop sheer butter okay sorry i just got distracted but anyway this is a buff the body shop sheer but sheer body butter and it's only 50 ml so you know when i open it right it's something like that okay i've used it quite a bit and it's honestly quite good i mean it's like slightly tougher than the victoria secret one but it's how do i how do i say it? it's it works perfectly fine too for me and i got this for my christmas present also and moving on to the next one in my skincare collection is a uh, Sephora Grapefruit Face Serum. It's only 30 C uh, I mean 30 ml and it's like a spray not really a spray but it's like more of like you know you press it down and the liquid comes out, you have to rub it on your face. So actually the this part it doesn't work that well because it's quite hard to press it down but anyway this one is quite good this one is quite good because it has like a grapefruit scented and the other face serum that i have is from fresh yeah i left a bit of it only it's a rose deep hydration oil infused serum so you know like for serum right normally what i do right is i'll put on like my facial creams like all these and then i'll like dab a bit of the eye cream onto my eye area and then i'll put like the lip balms and all that then after that 
after I put all these three on right, then I'll put this oil infused serum. Okay, so for this oil infused serum, right, because there's a oil, a level of oil there, so normally what I'll do is I'll shake it. And after I shake it, right, it'll be like evenly distributed. So I'll just open a cap and then I just pour it on my palm and then I rub it on my face. And moving on to the next section, I have three, um, what do you call this? It's a facial cleanser. I have three in stock, like, I mean, I have three for backup, you know, like, just in case I, my facial cleanser just finished and all that. So actually, for my previous video, right, I have showed these three, like, I mean, my Sephora haul. I have shown these three, so if you want to go and watch that video, you can go and watch it. So the first one that I have is, oh, from Laneige. It's a white deal milky cleanser. And it's 150ml, so when you open it, right, it looks something like that. Okay, it hasn't been opened, but it has a milky scent to it. Quite nice. And it's suitable for all skin types. So, you know, like, if you're thinking of getting this, you can try to get it. Um, I haven't really tried it yet. I didn't try it yet, but when I try, I'll let y'all know. How does it work? I mean like how did it turn out? And the second facial cleanser that I have for backup is the Laneige Deep Clean a uh, multi deep clean cleanser is 150ml and it's also suitable for all skin types and it's formulated with Papain enzyme and blueberry extract and this cleanser exfoliates and removes makeup, sun cream and sun cream and fine dust. So it's like sort of like an all-in-one facial cleanser and it's a good investment. And the third facial wash that I have is from Fresh. It's a sugar strawberry exfoliating face wash. And it gently refines and softens your face. It's quite a nice one. It's 125ml. It contains natural strawberry extracts. So if you're allergic to strawberries, don't use it. And wait, let me smell it. I haven't opened it yet, but... Okay, it has a, like a strawberry... Yeah, it has a strawberry smell to it, which is nice. And moving on to the next one, I've cleansing wipes. So I've a total of three cleansing wipes. The first one, the first cleansing wipe I have is from the Body Shop. It's a vitamin, vitamin E gentle cleansing facial wipes, and you know like. It has like protective vitamin E and nourishing wheat germ oil. Suitable for all skin types. So it's a good investment from the body shop if you're thinking of getting one. It's biodegradable sheets. There's like 25 biodegradable sheets inside. So you know, environmentally friendly but not really because wet tissues are harder to biodegrade. And it's quite good because um, I think this one you can like just use it as a makeup wipe also. And the second cleansing wipe that I have is from Sephora. It's a Sephora collection. It's a watermelon cleansing wipe. And it has 10 inside for the face and eyes. So it's like you know, when you do makeup, like when, you're, when you want to take your makeup off, this one. So well, the other one that I got was the coconut water one. So I have two different ones. 
Like, the reason why I got these two different flavors, right, is because I wanted to try it out to see which one I prefer. Because I sort of like both flavors. So, you know, but I don't know which one I prefer it more. So, and then I took both of it. And for the coconut water cleansing wipes, right, is for smoothing, right, for smoothing purposes. And for the watermelon one is for like hydrating purposes. So you know like there's like different types to like different like cleansing wipes. And the last and the last thing I have right is actually a scar serum. Uh I have this okay, it's a Palmer's cocoa butter formula with vitamin E and it's like 30 ml and it's like a drip nozzle if you can see so like because i have a lot of scars i mean not really a lot but i have some scars so you know like i got this so that hoping in the hopes of like getting my scars to fit yeah and okay, so that's all for today thank you for watching subscribe for more below